Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio channel. And um, I thought I'd show you exactly how I do it when I go and search for broadcasts for, uh, you know, what station is on the air or there are I, my favorite, you know, I'm a list guy. I always told you guys that I'm a list guy. So I like to have a list of frequencies and a list of stations by time. But of course, there's other websites where you got kind of an automated process. We'll show those in a different video. Actually, we'll show the power of each website. But I wanted to uh, show you how I do it because some people are curious as to how I get the information about the stations on the air. So, of course, you all know that one of my favorite places to go on the web for schedules is eibispace.de, which is this website. Once you're here, you have two choices. You got by time and by frequency. Usually what I do, and in most of my listening habits and most of my listening times, I will open the frequency list in a separate tab. So I right click and I say open link in new tab. So you see it here at the top, it opens in a tab. And I will open the main one in the tab that I am using. So that means that I can easily switch from the list by hour to the list by frequency. And by hour means if it's, for example, right now it's 20 UTC, 20 hours UTC. I'll simply go down to the list of what's on at 20 UTC and slowly go through the stations that are on the air at 20 to 21 UT and so on and try to tune them, see if I can hear them. But in the case where uh, today what I want to do is show you how I find what station is on the air. So let's look at the 31 meter band, for example. And here I have a station uh, which is, let's let's check 9565 here, for example. So here's a station. The first thing that you need to know is what frequency you're listening to. Second, what's the language, if possible, it's going to help you a lot. So this is Spanish. We know it's Spanish. The third information you need to know is what time is it UTC? So I'm listening to 9565. It's in Spanish. And my clock says it's 20 hours 11 UTC. So what is broadcasting at 20 UTC on 9565? I'll go to the frequency list. And I'll use the search feature of the browser. Control F. If you're on a Mac, it's Command F. And now I will enter the frequency that I'm tuned to. And you see that it brings me immediately to 9565. Two stations are on 9565. China Radio, Radio Marti. Using the information I've got, I know it's in Spanish. So here it says S. So that's Spanish. Also, I know that it's 20 hours 11 UTC. And look at that, 20 to 24 hours UTC. Radio Marti is in Spanish on 9565. So I know that I'm listening to this signal right now, and that's where it is. That's what it is, and that's uh, and and you could all the details of you know. I'm just gonna bring this a little smaller here because it's a little big. So here we go, and it's from Greenville uh, in uh, North Carolina in the USA. Another example. So let's say that I want to go tune uh, 41 meters. I'll Type 7400 and see what we have on that frequency of 7400 or around it. So nothing on 7400, but I noticed that there's a signal here, 7375. Here, here, there's 7380 also. So what station could be on 7380 right now? I'm not sure the language. I'll go here and I'll type 7380 in the search. And we know it's 20 UTC roughly. So let's check it out. Okay. Uh, what do we have that's at 20 UTC when it's on ID or not sure the language? Well, there's only one station that's at 20 UTC according to this list. And it would be Radio France International to Central Africa in what is probably the Hausa language, which is a African language. 
So this is probably what I'm listening to, Radio France in Hausa. So, you know, that's how I do it. Simply know at least the frequency and time. It helps if you even identify the language, but it's not always easy to identify languages, honestly. Another example, let's uh, check 7780. So 7780. What's on 7780? Sometimes you have it easy because you see here, OUSAOO is all Okeechobee. It all means WRMI. So I know it's WRMI. Um, WRMI is a little more complex because sometimes you're not really sure if the schedules are right or at the right time. But here in an example is that you know that USA O or O is Okeechobee, it's WRMI, with some sort of program that is being broadcast. So that's how we do it. You tune one frequency that you want, or you look at what you're hearing, you're tuning the bands, and suddenly you look at, okay, what's could be on a specific frequency. So you'll be, of course, looking at... So here there's a powerful station, 15610. It's in English. It's 15610, and it's 20 hours, 15 UTC. What is on that frequency at that time in English? So you just type 15610 to search. Humans are funny. And in English, because, you know, there's I only one a, station on that frequency, you know, and it's WEWN, a, a the Catholic uh, radio station from the United States, and it's uh, right here. We see that there are other here, broadcasts, but they're not at this time, and Florida, it's the only one in English anyways. Now, there will happen, and that will happen, but sometimes you might actually have on the same frequency two or three broadcasts at the same time you're listening in. The way to differentiate between them, well, first of all, the language is very important because the language will often give it away and tell you what station you're listening to. But the other thing that you need to look at is where it's broadcasting, where it's from, and on the frequency you're listening to, is it possible that a station comes from that area on that frequency? And that's where you will actually have uh, you know sometimes an answer now that's a little more complex because it requires to have a little more knowledge of propagation of shortwave radio but uh, there are clues and ways of actually being able to uh, find what you're listening to so that's the way I do it that's how I find out what station is on the air uh, when I actually tune the shortwave bands if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching